<laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> actually, this time I am. I'm actually like all. Usually it's like this. Okay, you ready? Yeah. It's like, uh huh. <laughs> sure. No, really. All right, we're going to find out what's going on here. Oh, God. Louie, you in there? Right here. All right. There we go. Let's find out what the heck's going on. Oh boy! Oh, look at that! Hmm. They seem to head down towards the base of that. Thing. Yeah. Now let's get a couple rocks out of the way. I'm gonna try to try to not piss them off here. You can do whatever you need to. Thank you, sir. <laughs> do we do we have Tupperware for honey? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, a normal hive has fifty thousand a minute. Mm -hmm. So if so you go if you go down and look right. Around the corner? Uh, up at the top here. Yeah, around the corner. Go down and take a look at that while I assess the situation. <laughs> I'm afraid we're not going to be able to sneak up on them because they are in that, you know, we, I was telling uh, Lou when we were talking, we just got one of these, a full one from a winery up there, uh -huh. up on High Lonesome. There's a lot of wineries around here now. A bee? Yeah, oh, sugar. I'm wondering if we can rotate this without yep. pissing them off too much. Good lord. Let me know if you want to Yeah, if we can gently uh, pull this and twist it toward you. Yep. Wow, I can't believe it not. It's all over the place. Yep. Let's do a little bit more. There you go. There it is. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're all right here. So this is a pretty nice little hole. Well, now they know we're here. There's a big crack right here. Oh, and they're in there. Yep, yeah, and they are pouring on out of here. And there is just no way to sneak up on these guys. So what I'm spraying them with is, this came about from when I, when we get honey, which there might be some comb in here. And I realized that if I poison it, then I gotta throw it away, of course. Yeah, Well, I got to thinking, well, I don't care if they're, dead or not. I just don't want them flying around. So I use a spray adhesive. Oh, for crying? Oh, Made wow. me feel like a genius, which doesn't take much. <laughs> oh, look, they're all pouring oh, out Oh, look at that pouring out of here, see? So these guys are not very nice. So what we're going to do, see if we can just spray it in the air like this and knock down a bunch of them so they're not just flying. I don't care if they're crawling around the ground. Who cares, right? But we can't have them. Are we just going to bag it? God, Lord. I, it's too roll heavy. It, roll it into roll it into a bag. Well, then this is all going to be dumped out. Yeah, you can lift that. Nah, that's what, see, they're underneath it. That's what the problem is. All right, I don't think we have any choice, but... Yeah, you can lift it. So it... Well, we got them calm down a little bit. I, I think the only way to do this is to we lift this off. So let me hey. see if I can... Let me help you. Want me yep, help you? We're gonna have to. Okay. Look at all the bees in here. Now you guys got a whole nightmare here. I am so glad nobody got hurt. I need a scraper or two, sweetheart. Okay. Yep, maybe more. Oh, I had no idea. It happens all the time. Oh it really gosh. does. Thank you, sweetheart. This one will do it just fine. Can you find her? Oh, doubt, doubtful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, the big problem is. Actually, if you can. Uh, if you can hold this up, yep. that's heavy. Okay, hang on, let me get in yep, there. Yep, yep. So I can start scraping. Okay. You good? Yep. All right, here we go. So now we're going to do some gentle scraping, because as you know, we take the money and the honey. Can you believe that? Yep, absolutely crazy. So, so if I can cut off just the brood on the seat. These are drone cells. See how big they are? Those are where the males are born. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, total nightmare here. I mean, there's enough bees here. It takes about 500 stings to equal a rattlesnake bite. So you've got enough bees here to kill a whole buttload of horses. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Happens all the time. It's quite... And, and right out your front door. Isn't that something? 
Yep. Happens all the time. Pretty amazing. So I'm really glad they've calmed down as much as they have because this was a serious bomb waiting to go off. Alright, so now what I gotta do is I'm gonna slide this up, pull this back, and tilt it up somewhere so I can keep it straight And actually I took that under a Okay, hold on. There we go. Yep, that's a proverbial bomb. Go. Can you hold that like that? I have this up here. Can you hold, you can you, hold that yeah, instead? Yeah, there you go. Wait, hang on. Okay, there you, there you go. Perfect, honey. Perfect. Wow, there's a clump of bees. So, people always ask me if I find the queen, and I have to tell them, well, I got about 50,000 of these things trying to kill me. I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for one. Can you believe it? Yeah, it makes no sense. There you go. Thank you. Well, at least they picked a pretty spot. At least they picked a pretty spot. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not so pretty. Uh, yeah. Yeah, to hell with the dog, right? Beware of guard bees. Okay. Now I'm going to... Can you please get a, another bucket that I'll put the brood in? Yes. You see the, the larvae in there? White grubs? All right, now here's an interesting little fact. You see how many, um, there's so much larvae in here. Each day, this was, they were having, they were birthing 1,500 to 2,000 bees every day. 1,500 to 2,000 were born every day out of here so in, a, in another month this would have been full nope yep they, they fill up as much space as they can it's phenomenal isn't it a little bit a little bit we've had some big jobs this uh, this year we're like uh, out of the border, we had to close the knock on the port of entry down. Oh, who else gets to do that, huh? I mean, so much fun. Made me realize when I'm in my uniform, I outrank everyone. If I tell the police department to get in their cars, they get in their cars. Anyway, that one we got about 400 pounds of comb out of. Yeah, just total treasure hunting. I've got to separate all, out all this from from everything else to make sure that none of that gets put in there. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm totally amazed. That, that was why the whole thing was so heavy. Yeah, they've been here for months. Right, perfect. Like okay. that. That looks really pretty. Does it? Yeah. Let me get a little Well, you got the pollen up above and the brood down below. And it's just dripping, honey. Okay. Now, most people don't know. You see these open cells that look wet? Yeah. That's nectar that they brought back. But people don't realize that when bees bring nectar back from the flowers to the hive, it takes them a month to turn it into honey. Oh. It's not instantaneous. So what's going to happen now after we leave is um, you can have bees for, uh, for two primary reasons. Okay. Okay, first of all, with a nice, healthy, active hive like this, you've got two to 5,000 bees out working. In the field. That are not even here. They're, they're coming back right now. They're the workers. Yep, yep. Oh they're coming back. And so they're going to be going, what the what hell happened? happened Somebody, to the house? What happened to the trailer park? <laughs> we live in Cortez County. Yes. And, and so those are called remnant bees because they're remnants of the hive. Uh -huh. All right. And they are kind of like an amputated limb. They cannot live without her. See, we see a hive as an organism, much like ourselves, with each bee bee in the cell and queen bee in the heart and the brain. All right, and so people always ask me, and they'll ball up here somewhere. They'll ball up under this bush probably. We're gonna knock down as many as we can. They're still gonna ball up here. So you're gonna have, it'll take them a few days to die off. Right. And people always ask me, are my remnant bees gonna find a new place to live? Okay, same analogy. My cells can't go live on you, and your cells can't go live on me. They can't go anywhere else. They belong to this hive, and that's it. It's an organism. They, it's an organism. 
The only reason that bees go from their hive to visit another hive is to steal honey. They steal? Oh boy, do they. Because it takes a month to make it? You're darn right. If they can get it pre-made, they will. They're Vikings. They're total horrible. So they, yeah, you're going to have rem, your remnant bees are going to bow up here. After tomorrow, they're not even going to be aggressive. Just use the other door uh-huh, until they die sure. off. Yeah. Um, and, and little by little, that, that ball will get smaller and smaller and smaller. All right. Mm-hmm. They have nowhere else to go. They'll die off like individual cells. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Then the second reason you're going to have bees farting around is in a three-mile radius, all the beehives know about each other. No. It's like a homeowner's association from hell. In case they can steal honey from each other. So you're going to have neighboring bees sniffing around. Because they know this is here. But that's what the guard bee's job normally is. Okay. To keep a, a marauding bees away. All right? Uh, they're no match for me. Of course. So, so, they, so you're going to have robber bees. So you got remnants and robbers. All right? So you're going to have robber bees. Now, robber bees are exactly the same as bees on flowers. They don't give a shit about us. They don't care. They want to get the goods at the home. Well, they're not going to be any goods. They know that hive is there. But it takes them at least a week to figure it out because bees have a hell of a memory. All right? If you have a hummingbird feeder that's up and it's covered in bees and you take that hummingbird feeder down, those bees will come back to that spot wondering where it went for a week. For a week. So uh, you're going to have remnants and robbers. In both cases, the good news is not aggressive. Not aggressive at all. But yeah, you're not going to want to use this entrance for a week. This um, I would recommend that we take because wherever they have been, you see this comb here? Wherever they have been, um, this is porous as opposed to that which is not. So they leave, they have pheromones. So wherever they land, whether it's for 10 minutes or 10 months or 10 years, they leave these pheromones soak into the wood mm-hmm. or concrete or whatever. And so that would attract new swarms into the future, mm-hmm. which is why we're going to take this whole thing away. Because it would. Huh? This? Yeah, we have a big bag. Yeah, yeah, we have a big bag. So we're gonna uh, wrap it in, in our big big bag and haul the whole thing away. So this is always a cool thing that I like to do. Get a handful of these guys. They don't like that very much. <laughs>